We are happy to welcome Aboudi Shabi today. Uh, Aboudi has been training coaches and leaders these last 10 years around the world. He will be facilitating a module in our master's program next year. The title of this module is The Art of Coaching, Transforming Yourselves as Coach and Leader. Aboudi, why transform yourself as coach and leader? Well, I think that we live in very challenging times and all of the things that we've learned up until now have got us where we've got to and we need to find new ways of being, new ways of leading and coaching and I think the real way to that is transformation. We can't just keep on doing a little bit more of what we've always done or tweaking here and there. We need profound transformation to enable us to move forward in whichever direction that is because at the moment I don't think we know that but transformation I think is needed given the kind of crises that we face in the world today. So what do you put in this word transformation in a, in a practical way? What do you mean by that? Well, I think what it means is more than just you know, developing new techniques and t tweaks and tips and recommendations. It actually requires a transformation at a core level, particularly in leaders. You know, leadership is not just techniques and skill. It's actually a way of being. We need leaders that have the confidence to lead and will inspire people to follow them as we go into uncharted territory. So I think it, it really has something to do with changing at the essence. Mm. What could people expect from this model, actually? Well, in order to achieve that kind of development as a leader, I think requires a certain amount of immersion in a challenging experience. So the program will be challenging in the sense of asking questions about the, the, the very self that we think that we are, enabling people to you know, build range, to go beyond what they think that they are, and you know, change, exploring in terms of language, body and emotions, developing new ways of being in the world. Could you give a kind of a, a practical example as a, for a leader, for example, yeah. what do you take it off from, from, this, from this model? Yeah. So for instance, you know, we often have people who report being in overwhelm and we have plenty of technological solutions to overwhelm like iPhones and you know, or hiring a new secretary or something. But maybe someone needs to learn how to say no and then say no in a way that people will hear them. And all of that really lives as a different kind of learning than just acquiring new information, but actually changing myself. I might have to learn how to say no or to ask for help, which are very common challenges for many of us, of course, but that kind of profound level of change is what we're talking about, and that requires going through some deep exploration and inquiry. It's very experiential, very interactive, but really come along prepared to change who you are at levels that you didn't even think about before. I understand that this transformation, according to the, the title of the model, is actually something which is uh, related to emotions, language, body. Could you say a few words about that? Yeah, so we live in, na in language, we have narratives about the world that we believe to be true, like I have to work hard, or I get value by my work, or you know, I have to lead by being uh, a, c a controller, for instance. But we also live in emotions, the emotions that we have shape our capacity for action, and we move through space in particular ways. Some of us move through space very fast and very, you know, so fast that we don't even notice people around us. Other people might move more slowly through space and notice people around them, but find it hard to get things done. So all three of those territories of learning put together create our capacity for action. Well, if we change those, then we have the possibility of really making transformational change rather than just, you know, uh, superficial change that doesn't last very much. That sounds fascinating. So thank you very much, Abudi. See you next year. Thank yeah, you so much. Thank you.